It's time to begin here. The Face It and E-League Overwatch Open Group D of the European Playoffs. This is a best of three starting us off for Group D Luminosity Gaming versus No Name Yet. This is a chance for No Name Yet to possibly make themselves a name. Maybe we should give them good suggestions throughout the cast. Jorisar, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, we can uh, d definitely uh, take a look at their play and uh, see if we can uh, see if we can spot something maybe they're doing particularly well and say, hey, guys, you should maybe uh, advertise that you're doing this. We'll see. Of course, also a great opportunity for sponsors to pick up a team if they're able to absolutely nail some of their games today. <laughs> this is a chance for them to make a name for themselves, as we said. And if they don't do a great job, at least no one will remember it because they don't have a name yet, right? So they've got both angles working for them. That's a great name. <laughs> it's, a, it's a brilliant meta ploy. We're going to be starting off here. Both teams, of course, taking the high ground uh, on the village here on Nepal. And now we see uh, both teams diving in. Vela Neptuno hidden. A veteran Junior Zartaz and pointed. Oh, dear. Genji actually going to be the first to get taken out there. Ruster already, uh, yeah, leaping on that Genji. That is his job most of the time is to find those squishy DPS and remove the threat. So uh, we see Velen actually getting a kill onto Zave. So even kills actually to get us started. Point actually going down now as well means Luminosity has surged forward a bit. Sini is back uh, in action here as Genji just driving those shurikens into that enemy Zarya. Hadan is going to go down. Zartaz shortly after. Nice dash resets there getting started here from Sini on Luminosity. They are going to grab the point first. Very, uh, very clinical. Uh, team fight there, getting the initial picks and then slowly whittling the enemy team down from Luminosity. Uh, no individual fireworks required just yet. And we actually have uh, No Name Yet uh, preparing for another result up on the top. And here they go, leaping out very quickly actually in point, uh, trying to go ahead and grab the space on top very quickly. Indeed, Luminosity to stem the flow. Mineral will be using his sound barrier. That gives him another couple of seconds to regroup and they will be able to get the kills going their way again. But Neptuno coming in over the top with Tracer. Did Icefelt actually dash through a pulse bomb? It looks some, something strange happened there in that Tracer battle, but Veteran Junior actually going to be the first to pull out his Dragon Blade. Not going to get anything off of it, though. Ruster ready to zap him down. Doesn't matter how many times uh, he got slashed there. Survived the onslaught. Sini with his own Dragon Blade finds the kills he's looking for. No name yet. Need to regroup. 42% now for Luminosity. Things still looking good for them. They have a three, now four ults available, while No Name Yet still struggling to build even their second or third ults here. Neptuno should be able to get another Pulse Bomb pretty soon, but that Sound Barrier is the only tool they really have at the moment. Valen at the moment uh, will be able to use that, but of course can't get countered by Transcendence as they move on in. Graviton Surge coming in, and there's the Pulse Bomb from Luminosity Icefelt, getting a double and another uh, Clinical White using the Transcendence as well to good effect. Now, Valen did die with his ultimate still available, so both Neptuno and Zartaz will have theirs up, so they could have a very strong team fight coming up now, but I think this is their best opportunity and possibly their last opportunity here to flip the point. Yeah, and we talked about uh, great equalizers and not just feeding yourself into the blender because ultimates are just so important, and one Dragon Blade still can kill be much better players. Like, the fact is, they only have so much HP, and if you're skilled enough, you can wipe a team, especially with some coordination. So just patience and not, you know, throwing yourself into the grinder is going to be the best course of action. Neptuno uh, actually doing a great job on Tracer throughout Scoop uh, the majority of No Name Yet's kills, but Luminosity still just showing their strength, not actually allowing any of these individual kills to uh, deter them from just staying on the point. That's 100 to 0 to get us started here on Nepal Village. And the point, they're going to be diving in as Winston. A little bit too late, though, to make an impact and extend overtime. And that was, well, a statement of intent from Luminosity. No Name Yet, a little bit outclassed on the first map. Netuno had his moments, uh, but Unfortunately, he's getting matched not just by Taney on the other side, but basically the rest of the team picking right. up kills as well. And uh, it feels like Luminosity right now, uh, they all systems go working as a unit very well, and uh, that was a very strong point number one. Yeah, I think uh, you actually are going to need more ult coordination out of this team, no name yet, if they're going to stand a chance. That is basically your best opportunity to wipe the other team, is if you blow four ultimates and they only have one available, something like that. But the individual ultimates have not been working out so great. Veteran Junior had a Dragon Blade kind of fall flat, and uh, Neptuno's Pulse Bomb's really the only impactful ultimate that we saw out of them. If they uh, conserve their ultimates, work together to try and trap several members of Luminosity, I think things could work out better for them here on Sanctum. And now we move on in point, getting the first kill. So uh, No Name Yet starting off positively here. They're trading though, and Saini at the moment on a double. Neptuno actually matching him blow for blow right now. 
but uh, Luminosity able to get the first feud. The control point, uh, it hasn't even been activated yet. These guys are just fighting for the chance to capture it first, and Ice Belt now moving in, coming into his own on Tracer to allow Luminosity the first advantage. That was actually a better battle than we saw on Village at any point from No Name yet, but they did fall just uh, a slight bit faster than Luminosity. Ice Belt actually already building that Pulse Bomb. Great Tracer play throughout, uh, not only the qualifiers, but here so far on Nepal. Manitan on the Cesaria, just slowly building up charge and ultimate as Genji dashes onto the point. He's all alone. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. He was well ahead of his team, and it was very easy for the Luminosity players to just turn on him and eliminate him before the battle even began. And right now, uh, <laughs> when you're fighting on the point and the opposing team has percentage ticking up during, it's never a nice feeling because it just means that you're going to be further behind. Uh, even if you do take the point, it's just taking the entire time. They're able to do it, but Neptuno look, that fight started at 20 to 0, and that's why it's so important to cap the point first. You're absolutely right, Jurassar. Sorry to interrupt, but Neptuno did get a double kill there, and I actually was not expecting it. Yeah. Uh, kind of out of the blue there, Ruster and the rest of the group here for Luminosity grouping up at the doorway just outside of spawn. They have a couple of ultimates available. I do feel like they have a very strong chance of flipping this point. They really just need to work out right now who's going to be using what. You mm -hmm. don't need to obviously commit all five ultimates but one Graviton Dragon Blade can get it done. One Graviton or one Dragon Blade can get it done. Oh, Ruster, uh, at least rejoining the game very quickly. That can be kind of scary here in these uh, competitive games against anyone. Uh, 5v6, even though Luminosity is heavily favored, you'd never really want to fight 5v6 against any team. Not at all, and you reset the ultimate charge there as well, but uh, uh, Luminosity patiently no waiting rage. for Ruster to come back in. That actually allows No Name yet to catch back up. 37 versus 37, and here we go. We're going to be moving in. Sound Barry immediately coming out. Saini now off the back of this with the Dragon Blade, getting a double, make that three. He's looking, oh, he gets Neptuno as well as a fourth, so that's a star player at the moment for No Name yet. Getting picked up, and Saini taking five out of six of those final deaths. And uh, that is going to be another flip. I was saying they didn't need to use all their ultimates, but they did. And I mean, <laughs> obviously, they did flip the point. They must be confident that they're going to be able to hang on to it with just Zave's transcendence at this point. But, at, you know, honestly, No Name Yet can build a couple of ultimates and flip this right back uh, just because so many were used on the side of Luminosity. Never Tuno just chilling on the point right now, Must trying to ninja it with Lucio. Nice. He's actually able to do it because the primal rage from point actually uh, allowing. The team to get on the point while Luminosity is just distracted by him, but lots of kills going the way of Luminosity now. Neptuno staying alive on this Tracer. I think Team Neptuno might be a good one for no name yet. <laughs> Definitely uh, a strong contender as things stand. And by the way, that was a great example of what we were talking about just before. For the duration of that team fight, no name yet had flipped the point. Yeah. And as a result, they managed to build up some percentage. 67 versus 60. You might think that's not important, but actually, it would have basically been Luminosity on 80 by yeah. now. So just it's think little about differences. It. No name yet flipped this one more time. That's a couple of ultimates, and then they win the game. Oh no, there's the, the Pulse Bomb into the Graviton Zerg, but Transcendence comes out from No Name Yet to mitigate the damage there, so good damage limitation, but now they have to come around and make the most of the ultimates they just used. Only Hidan left with a Graviton Zerg to try and finish this off. Luminosity have three down though, so No Name Yet have a great chance here of flipping this back. Icefeld also, of course, an incredibly good tracer. We knew that coming into it, and Point does a good job actually staying on that uh, Tracer, not allowing him to get too much, as well as taking out Sini from time to time. Veteran Junior getting a lot of kills right there. Did not have to even use his Dragon Blade, so I'm assuming good triple stars dash resets, allowing him to get those kills. And look at this, No Name Yet have flipped it back. So this early sneak earlier, to, going back to your point, is potentially allowing them to win this game. All they have to do is survive one more onslaught, and this could be around going to No Name Yet. Exactly. It would have been a uh, overtime to Luminosity, but we're going to see if they can flip it back around. Saini has got the sword out, and he's Neptuno. looking for kills, but Neptuno grabbing the triple in the middle of that, and uh, Saini is included in that mid-Dragon Blade, by the way, so the momentum from Luminosity taking a nose dive right now, and No Name Yet are at overtime. They are on the cusp here of taking the point. They totally got it, man. Icefelt was the last one alive trying to sneak it back you could see that progress bar at about 80 90 percent but they were back in time to shut him down prevent him from flipping it and uh, giving luminosity even more time to come back so very well played by no name yet lowest seed versus highest seed in this group team neptuno they're going they're going <laughs> in on it man and that was actually a critical play from neptuno at the end there uh, one of the players he killed uh, win that final assault was Saini, who had just put uh, the Dragon Blade down. The Transcendence here, of course, starting a lot of it off, making sure that the Pulse Bomb from Luminosity had no effect. The disconnect from Ruster did 
prove potentially to be a difference there. And obviously, you know, players are responsible for their own connections in an event like this being played from home. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. That may actually be an attributable factor into them losing a round. But I know sure. that Luminosity definitely are going to be feeling that sting and are not going to be letting up anytime soon. Neptuno has to stay on top of his game. I also want to give props to Point. He's been in the right place at the right time every engagement. Now we move on to the Shrine as we, uh, well, we can see Luminosity uh, taking the point itself very early on. Of course, it's not unlocked yet, but they just want that central location. Now they're spreading out a little bit more as No Name yet move on in. Point there, putting the bubble straight on, and it looks like Saini is on Winston Judy, getting very close to killing him off and will be able to take that. But elsewhere, we have two for two right now, and uh, it's all about who can stop the other team's tracer. Saini's just going nuts right now, trying to kill this Zarya. Actually, that wow. contributed so much damage to that Winston kill and then to Zarya. But look at this No Name Yet grab the point first. And I think uh, Luminosity, we have to point out, Icefeld is on the Reaper this time. That's even more credit to Point for his great performance on the last round because Reaper is the Winston destroyer. And Sini, obviously, they had some communication where Sini needed to be on that Winston. Zartaz killing Sini right now is actually really bad for Luminosity as well. No name yet. Doing a great job on the second point shrine. Neptuno or third point, excuse me. Being very, very sneaky here, just looking for an opportunity to grab an early pulse bomb and a couple of pickoffs to delay Luminosity even further. They're up to basically 30%. And here we go. Oh, dear. Actually gets it on the Ooh. ground, but still managing to take out Zave. And uh, maybe a little bit fortunate, he didn't actually get a sticky onto anyone, but I will take that any day, of course, if you're able to eliminate the possibility of Transcendence there. And here comes Veteran Junior, he's looking to try and pick up on the initial pick coming out from Tracer, managing to slice a little bit, but we have got Luminosity fighting back. I don't think that's quite enough kills, though, to get a flip here. I know that I always have trouble with those on-the-fly pulse bombs, so the fact that you get anything for it is much better, of course, than the alternative. If Zarya were there even to drop a bubble onto Zave at the right time, that pulse bomb does nothing. So you definitely take a Zenyatta kill where you can get it, even if you whiff the uh, stick. Uh, no name yet, up to 60% now. Luminosity at zero. This is definitely not what I was expecting coming in. This is a very strong from no name yet so far in this game. We have a much earlier, uh, much earlier ultimate coming up from Velen there on the sound barrier, and now they're going to be staggering with the Transcendence as well to try and keep a lot of longevity on the point. Mineral able to use this a little bit later. Uh -oh. He's very close to going down though. Saini uh -oh. gets taken out first and No Name Yet right now are doing a tremendous job. Two down. Zave actually very close to dying but he uses the Transcendence. There's not a lot of people on the point and not a lot of people to heal at the moment though. So where are they going to find the longevity from? I don't know, but I have to say, if you guys in the, if you guys watching at home uh, know anything about these No Name Yet players, please let us know on Twitter with that hashtag OWOpen so we can uh, have some more context, because these guys are playing really well. If anyone knows Neptuno's uh, history or anything like that, I would love to know it, but he is just doing a phenomenal job. Barely died this entire game, let alone this round. They've gotten to 99% to zero, but finally Luminosity do flip it back with a series of just kind of individual kills. Zave did use Transcendence during that battle, and... Uh, no name yet with no ultimates looking to try to reclaim it at some point during this game is really all they have to do. All pressure now on Luminosity. No name yet actually showing us uh, in very real terms why they made it here on Maris. This is fantastic to be seeing out of them. Luminosity are going to have to dig deep and make sure they do not get wiped in a team fight. One more overtime could actually spell disaster for them. Wow. And coming in over the top with Genji will comfortably do that. Very first time around, but they still have probably two more team fights left where they have to defend very well against No Name Yet to stand a chance of taking it in 99.99 overtime. This shrine point is kind of unique, I'll say, on Nepal, as it is very hard to attack into. Uh, all the routes that you can take, basically, ledge side is a very long run up. You don't want to run through the choke because everyone's obviously staring you down anyway. And jumping down from the high ground, you just have an awkward angle for some characters. So they are going to choose just front door. You see a couple of ultimates happening right now. It's a Dragon Blade on both sides. Actually, Veteran Junior hanging on to his for a more opportune time. Point actually gets the kill on Zave. Oh no. Veteran Junior going to die with Dragon Blade in hand, but maybe he's just saving it for the next push. He saw a couple of his teammates die, so it's probably a good call to hang on to those offensive ultimates. This next push could could be the one. They'll have Transcendence. They'll be very close to a sound barrier. Should be nice for them. Hadan actually almost at the Graviton Surge too. We're going to see a big battle here coming up to try and get No Name Yet to win this round. I think that's exactly the play they should be making here as well. We're waiting for those support ultimates to come up. Uh, very good patience coming out of there from Veteran Junior, but now it all has to pay off. They've only got one opportunity to do this. Luminosity coming very early on oh to try man. and mitigate this, and they're coming quite far off the point. Mineral getting taken down very Ooh. early by Veteran Junior, and this could be the moment that No Name Yet we're waiting for. Four kills 
going their way. 95% plays, 99. They're going to be able to flip it here, I think. And this could be 2-1 up for No Name Yet. Hold your breath. Veteran Junior making me look smart here, hanging on to that Dragon Blade and just doing exactly what we described. Here's a last chance attack for Ruster, but the Discord Orb already on him. He's going to fall incredibly quickly. Is it enough time to get anyone back on the point? Yes, it looks like we've got at least one Luminosity member. Ice Belt does go down. Zarya trying to get on the point, but being stared down by all six members of No Name Yet. That's a No Name Yet advantage, and there was no DC this time around. That's, that's not an excuse oh, for uh, for Ruster this time. That was, uh, oh, that initial kill off on Zenyatta going into that first team fight as well, where No Name Yet suddenly uh, started coming into their own. But Luminosity struggling a little bit here on Shrine, and as a result, they go 2-1 down in this best of five control. Very, very interesting stuff, and uh, No Name Yet really showing us why they are here. This is fantastic to watch. Just watching these Dragon Blades go off, I say Veteran Junior and Sini had uh, almost equitable ultimates if you're looking at it just from the outside, but the timing of Veteran Junior's ultimates actually just worked out so much better for them to allow them to win the round. And Neptuno again showing some very good prowess on Tracer. We were talking a little bit during the analysis about how uh, Luminosity took out Dignitas on control maps like this. Well, <laughs> no name yet, outperforming for sure. Now we move uh, once again on to a Village as the teams uh, get stuck in in each other's faces. It's all about the uh, Winstons moving in and trying to disrupt very early on. Both teams trading kills, but Luminosity still with Sania alive, still with Ice Belt alive. In fact, both sides have the DPS players still in the thick of the action, but Luminosity this time getting the better of it, and it looks like they will be able to cap the point first. Right, no supports means no name yet. Cannot have that freedom of movement that they so enjoy. Veteran Junior, no Harmony Orb. Uh, Tracer can't just jump back to Lucio for quick quick heals or anything like that, so uh, they are going to back off. At least they didn't wipe. They didn't give Luminosity any excess ultimate, right? They didn't feed the rest of the team into the grinder and just allow Luminosity to win this next fight as well. We've got a, a fighting chance here as uh, we're going to have a tracer battle on the point. Ooh. Good thing there's no friendly fire. That's sorry, it would have been <laughs> nuked. Uh, so far, we've got kills going either way. And uh, wow, unfortunately, whoa, oh, hang on a second, someone running straight off the edge of the map there, Neptuno. Point knocked him off from afar. Wh uh, whipping the pulse bomb there, and uh, that's a very nice kill initially for point, but they have to have the follow-up, and they have to make this count. The point is in the process for getting flipped. No name yet will be able to do it. Oh, hang on a second, <laughs> Neptuno. <laughs> that is one dash too far. It looked like he could have stood on that wooden platform for like a second more. <laughs> Maybe Rewind could have come up. That was actually really frightening, and I know if that were me playing, I'd be very embarrassed at this point. Sini has the Dragon Blade out with the help of the Sound Barrier. That's going to be an easy cleanup. And again, no matter how good you are, you've only got so much HP. Sini taking advantage of that for sure, finishing up the team. Uh, and Luminosity feeling comfortable now, 40% against 20 in this fourth round. But no name yet. Starting to get up toward those ultimates. You see a lot of them in 80 90%. So they could just try and poke from the door, get a couple of ultimates so that they can be ready to go. Neptuno here, again, trying to come from behind, being very sneaky. This is what he did last time around when he whipped the Pulse Bomb, though, so he does need to be careful. He's got it here again, doesn't want to just use it on a Tracer. Ooh. Oh, I think he got a Sticky on that one. Yes, yeah. managing to pick in on Manaton. That was much better, and a very good start to the engagement. Now the rest of the team are dropping on in as well, and Lucio going to be giving them a bit of extra longevity on the point. Velen trying to add to the team here. Veteran coming on in and looking for the drop, but he actually gets taken down by his opposing number, and Saini here trying to keep things alive for Luminosity on the point. Ruster and Sini doing a good job, combining for a lot of damage. Enough to get Sini the Dragon Blade with 2 HP. Why? Point just looked at him and he fell over dead. Neptuno <laughs> and Point sitting right there on the point, capturing it back for no name yet. A lot of weird stuff's been happening, but I have to point out that Manaton has been dying so early in these engagements, mm -hmm. he has not been able to build up a Graviton Surge. Finally, this time around, he will have it. Icefelt may be able to combo with the Pulse Bomb to get this point back. Uh, Sany at least managed to keep about 60% of his ult charge because he died so quickly True. after putting the uh, Dragon Blade up. So he will have that a little bit uh, earlier. We now have Transcendence popping out as everybody goes ahead and gets into position on Luminosity while that healing is active. No name yet. Responding with one of their own. Here comes the Graviton Surge on the point. There is the Pulse Bomb. <gasps> and a Zarya! great bubble! Fantastic bubble from Zarya keeping things alive here. Manaton, we were talking about how he might need to pick up and that was absolutely fantastic defensive play. 
Manitin's Graviton Surge came out. Obviously, the Pulse Pump didn't work out, but the follow-up was there. Luminosity, very strong players all around. Not going to allow Graviton Surge to go to waste at any means. Uh, we've got Neptuno trying to stay on the point. It is long enough to keep overtime going, so maybe the team can get in here, but oh, no ultimate uh, available for the defensive supports, or excuse me, no-name yet supports. Mineral pops that sound barrier instead, and that's going to seal the deal. We are going to a fifth round here on Nepal, and we've seen really back and forth action across the board. No Name Yet still definitely have a chance to take this game. Yeah, No Name Yet has been uh, performing phenomenally against Luminosity. No. And, uh, no, don't do it, stand on the ledge. Oh, He still had several seconds for rewind. He would have had to do a, a great balancing act at that point. Yeah, it would have been some Cirque du Soleil stuff going on there. <laughs> but uh, Luminosity fighting back. Nowhere near as convincing as, you know, some might have actually predicted. This is turning into a really nice King of the Hill to start things off. And uh, we'll see what happens on point number five. We're coming back to Sanctum. So a lot of fun, explosive action heading our way. Explosive action indeed. I wonder if Mineral will be using the Ana. He actually selected Ana right at the end of the previous round, which I thought was interesting. He never actually came out the gate with it. Um, no, he's swapping off. It was already yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so. Um, yeah, interesting. All right. Well, either way, we've got the team in play now. Luminosity bouncing everyone forward. Oh, it was the Lucio swap to yeah, get the speed boost. There you go. All right. Veteran Junior getting taken out immediately is going to definitely stunt No Name Yet's chances as the rest of them start to fall. They may as well just wipe it up. Hop in the pit at this point, guys, because Ooh. you don't want to give away any free ults. Neptuno giving the team a little bit of hope there after losing the first three, then picking up a double himself with the help of Hidan. But uh, Luminosity will be able to stem the flow and get the final few kills that they need to decisively win the first battle. I think Neptuno can 1v1 any of these guys on Luminosity, like toe-to-toe. He's -to -toe. very good. He only dies if he's surrounded 3-1, three, three to one, and uh, his movement is just incredibly good on Tracer for, for survival. Uh, and that's something I struggle with with the characters with the defensive cooldowns, Genji and Tracer. I'm more of a Reaper guy where every button just helps you kill better. <laughs> yeah, sure. And uh, at the moment, he's actually going to be the first player with an ultimate as well. So here comes the Pulse Bomb initially, and getting a double to start things off here against Luminosity, looking for the early flip. Are no name yet, but Luminosity respond with three kills in a row, and that's that is without Lucio, that's without Genji as well, making a huge play of it for Neptuno, getting another two before he gets taken out. Neptuno's building pulse bombs quite a lot, but unless he can kill all six with them, I think uh, Luminosity's gonna stay in control here pretty well. Sini's got his Dragon Blade ready to go, and No Name Yet still working on their ultimates. It's already 40% for Luminosity. This may be a fight again that's kind of a throwaway, just a long extended battle so that they can secure four or five ultimates for the next one, but that is time working against them at this point. And now we move on in. Veteran Junior, hang on a second. There's a Graviton Surge looking for the kills. Our Luminosity right now. Saini and Ge Aze both getting on the board for the double from Genji, proving particularly useful with the Dragon Blade. Neptuno trying to stem the tide, but like you say, it is Neptuno versus the world right now, and he's going to get surrounded and taken out. We're now at 65% to zero, and Luminosity look to be in firm control of this final point. Yeah, they are mad. They do not want to lose this first map against a no-namer, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A literal no-namer. literally. Yeah, so uh, Luminosity definitely picking up the slack, making far less mistakes. We did see Manitin come into play huge already in this round. Hadan backing up. He's got the Graviton Surge, but you definitely don't want to use it at a bad time. So waiting for the clump. 28 health, though. I don't think he's going to be able to use it. Ooh. Yeah, Sound Barrier coming out as well for Luminosity, keeping all of them alive throughout the battle. That was so close to being a really different fight, because if you take a look just before the start of the battle, Mineral actually got some hits, and he went down to about 10% health. It forced Zave to use Transcendence about a second, two seconds earlier than he otherwise would have. And then Mineral managed to get back up to full health, get the sound barrier out, and uh, basically take that fight with the staggered support ult. So a good reaction there from Luminosity, but Mineral is going to be the first to go down. This time around, Graviton Surge is coming in right in the middle, and No Name Yet are clearing out Luminosity. That was an excellent bit of team play collapsing from all sides, and in overtime, they managed to flip the point, but it is 99%, so they're going to have to defend now for their lives three or four in a row. Luminosity are in a position exactly where they can just uh, wait for more ultimates. Manitin's already got the Graviton Surge, so if you get Zave's Transcendence, Ice Felt's Pulse Bomb, or Sini's Dragon Blade, basically any of these will help you wipe a team. No name yet. Really need to get their defensive ultimates built up as fast as possible. But Zave going down very quickly is a great boon for No Name Yet. Taking out that healer. Graviton Surge comes out for the side of Luminosity, catches several members, but can they get the follow up? Yes, Ruster with a triple wow. kill, zapping them all down with that splash damage. Everything going up uh, Luminosity's way now. Actually, it was the prime. Rage that he probably just smacked the heck out of them while they were held still. Good combo there, Graviton and Primal Rage coming in for a, a rare 
A rare combo, actually. And the Ice Belt is going to have Pulse Bomb available if he wants to get forward and sort of pick off an initial scout as well. Neptuno, oh, such an important player for No Name yet, is going to get picked up very early on in this engagement as well. And now they are trickling in. This is going to be an absolute mountain of a battle. And unfortunately, they're just here dying one by one. Transcendence coming in to try and stall for a little while longer. <laughs> and he makes a classy <laughs> exit stage left. And that uh, is going to be that, I think. Mineral actually did something very interesting. He killed a Zen during Transcendence. <laughs> he got the credit there because he booped him off. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And he probably already took some damage pre-transcendence yeah. and then uh, moved on down. But yep. uh, very nice. And uh, that means by a scoreline of three to two, not many people predicting that there. Luminosity Edge, no name yet, on the poll. Yeah, very interesting game uh, to get us started. It makes me very excited for game number two. And it makes me wonder if we're going to go to that other control map immediately if it's uh, no name yet's pick. And they did such a good job here. I think it is a high likely chance. 82 eliminations for Sini. <laughs> that is 82. absolutely monstrous. And uh, for No Name Yet, of course, it was a little bit of a story of the Neptuno show. Uh, and, but unfortunately, he couldn't quite uh, do do enough on his own. I mean, we, we need to give credit to the other players as well, but he was absolutely their standout performance. And I completely agree with your sentiment, Joshi. I think when we have a payload map and Li Jiang Tower in the map pool and they saw what they did on Nepal, I would be a little bit surprised if we weren't going to Li Jiang Tower next. All right, so candidate.